Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson 19. And in this lesson, we're gonna be dividing two and three digit dividends. So the number inside the house is gonna have two or three digits. Uh, we're gonna be dividing by multiples of 10 um, uh, with single digit quotient. So that the division problem isn't gonna to be too huge. Uh, but the big thing about this lesson is we are gonna be going straight to that written method, that standard algorithm. So let's get started. All right, so um, this problem says to divide and then check using multiplication. And so parents and teachers, a big heads up. We're going to start with this. And now the problem says 90 divided by 40. But the big heads up is that a lot of students are going to want to write 90 divided by 40 like this. And we need to help our students understand that that is totally wrong. That if we want to write 90 divided by 40 using that house symbol, that we know we need to write 90 divided by 40 like this. It makes a huge difference, and a lot of students want to say 40 divided by 90, and parents and teachers be on the listen for that and be super duper strict about saying, no, no, this is 90 divided by 40. Now, if they really, students really want, they can say 40 divides into 90. That would be appropriate. The words matter, parents and teachers, so especially when um, starting in like sixth grade, when the number on the outside is going to be larger than the number on the inside, and we're going to be dealing with decimals. Uh, we need to help our students use proper math vocabulary. So 90 divided by 40 is the problem. And I'm going to scooch it over. And the idea is we're going to be using that official algorithm. So I'm going to go over here on, on the side, and I'm going to... I'm going to skip count by my 40s. So 40, 80, 120, 160. I could stop right there. Parents and teachers, if your students have a hard time skip counting by 40, you can say 4 tens, 8 tens, 12 tens, 16 tens. So you could kind of skip count by 4s, 4, 8, 12, 16. But your unit is tens. So you could say 4 tens, 8 tens, 12 tens, 16 tens. We're going to stop here because we don't want to go any higher than 90. So 80 is the best we can, is the closest we can go. And so that's 40 times 2. So I'm going to put my 2 here, and our 80 goes right here. Uh, so 2 times 40 is 80, and it goes right there. And of course, we see it right over here. And when we subtract, we get 10. And so our answer is 2 remainder 10. Now to check, we're going to multiply. So we're going to take that 2 and that 40, and we're going to multiply. So we're going to do 40 times 2, get 80. And then we're going to take our 80 and add in our remainder, and we get 90. And since 90 is what we had inside the house, our dividend, that tells us that we are correct. We are um, correct. Another problem, just the same, only the numbers are a little bit bigger. So we have 280 divided by 30. So parents and teachers, remember to make sure your students write it correctly. That 280 divided by 30 should look like this. The tendency is for students to want to put the 280 on the outside and the 30 on the inside, but that would be wrong. Um, so now that we've got it, so we're going to do our skip counting of 30s. So we've got 30, 60, 90, 112. And I'm just going to keep going because we know that 30 does not go into 2. In fact, I could put a 0 if I wanted to. 30 does not go into 28 or 28 tens. And so I'm going to put a 0 there. But 30 does go into 280. So I'm going to be thinking about how many. And so we're skip counting by 30, and I've got 150, 180, 210, 240. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of room. 
270, 300. Ah, okay, so we found our value, the best we can get, the closest we could get to 280 without going over. And I can see that it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 30 times 9 gives us 270. And I can subtract, and I get a remainder of 10. So we're going to write 9 remainder 10. And so to check, we're going to take that 30 and multiply by 9. So you get 30 times 9 is 270. And then 270 add 10 gives us 280. Now where did that 10 come from? That 10 came from our remainder. So hey, look at that. We got 280. That's what was in the in the house, the dividend. So we're correct. This is a beautiful problem because it's kind of working backwards. It says a number divided by 40 has a quotient of 6 with a remainder of 16. So we've got a lot of important math vocabulary. So parents and teachers, uh, a number divided, there's a word, has a quotient with a remainder. So these are all words that you might want to put on your word wall. Uh, in your classroom. Have these words up on your word wall with descriptions and pictures to show what these things mean. This is important for all your learners, but especially your English language learners as well. So uh, we're going to start with our multi uh, division. So there's our division. And we're going to go back and, says, and read it. It says a number divided by 40. So when it says divided by 40, is the 40 going to go inside or outside? It's going to go outside. Has a quotient of 6. So does the 6 go down here or does this 6 go up there? It goes up here. With a remainder of 16. Now what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to figure out, well, what number goes on in here? And the way we could find that out is we can multiply. All right, So we can uh, kind of like check the answer like we would as if we were going to check. What would we do? Well, we would take the 6 and the 40 and multiply them. So we get 40 times 6, so that's 240. And then we take that 240, add in our 16, because that's our remainder. And we get 256, and that is what would go in the house. So that number is 256. And the last problem for this video, <clears throat> it says a shipment of 288 reams of paper. You guys know what reams of paper is? Reams of paper. You know what reams of paper is. It's those bricks of paper, right? And uh, was delivered. Each of the 30 classrooms received an equal share of the paper. Any extra reams of paper were stored. After the paper was distributed to the classrooms, how many reams of paper were stored? So we have a bunch of reams of paper. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram to represent this. All right. And this represents the 288 reams of paper. And then it says... That's the 288. It says each of the 30 classrooms received an equal share. So we're going to chop these 288 into 30 classrooms. So there's 30 classrooms here, plus we have some extras. And so we need to figure out how many extras are there, right there. How many extras do we have? So we're going to take our 288. We're going to divide by our 30, because there's 30 classrooms, and that's going to tell us <clears throat> how much each class gets. So we're going to think about our skip counting, and we've got that 30, 60, 90. In our previous problem, uh, we learned that the closest we're going to get is 270, and that's nine times. 
In fact, our students could learn to start seeing that. 9 times 3 is 27, so 9 times 3 tens is 27 tens, which is 270. And we subtract and we get a remainder of 18. So that means each of our classrooms gets nine reams of paper. So each of the 30 classrooms gets nine, and we're going to have 18 reams of paper left over. So our rem remainder is 18. And so going back up here, it says how many reams of paper were stored? 18. And so that wraps up 5th grade module 2 lesson 19 where we are dividing 2 and 3 digit dividends by multiples of 10 with super simple quotients, just one digit.